overthinking has become the order of the day a lot of people you have seen or come across is either currently overthinking something one problem or the other or have overthought something in the past if you're currently overthinking anything bear it in mind that overthinking causes unhappiness in fact it is a major cause of unhappiness and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys eight ways you can, you can beat overthinking and actually have happiness now the number one understand that the problem is really the problem you see that problem that you're overthinking you're thinking how to solve it how to you know resolve the problem that problem is not even the problem 99 percent of the harm is caused in your head by you and your thoughts now one percent of the harm is caused by reality what actually happened and the outcome most of the time the problem isn't the problem the problem is the way you think about the problem you understand now some of the time the problem we create ourselves while trying to solve a problem is not even the problem so we overthink it and give ourselves 99 percent harm Whereas the problem is 1%. You see, but because I want to solve one problem now, maybe I don't have money and I tend to buy something at the end of the month and I am thinking, how do I get this money? Don't get me wrong. Thinking on how to solve problem is not actually, it's when you now overthink it and overthink and think and think and think, how do I solve this thing? You don't, you don't interact with people. You don't eat safe. You don't have your bath. You just stay, think, think, cry, think. That is actually the problem now the number two is avoid self-rejection now how are we going to do that now a lot of people reject themselves they always think that nothing good can come to them they always think that they don't deserve anything good but that is terrible why should you think you don't deserve a good opportunity why should you think that you don't deserve anything good now if there's any job opportunity that you're thinking of you know you know about and you think i don't deserve it so for that reason i will not apply no apply for it anyways it doesn't matter whatever you or anybody think you deserve everything good and stop rejecting yourself don't think that your article is not good enough publish it whether you think it's good or it's not good or publish it don't think uh, they will not reply you or they will reply you send it anyways they are eventually going to reply you if they don't reply you is their loss send that email never overthink yourself into self-rejection don't over don't always think that you don't deserve anything good don't always think that anything good you always go to other people and you don't deserve it that's a lie and then the number three is silence and time you see one thing with everybody has come to realize in this life is that whatever problem you're facing whatever it is you're facing give it time give it time just give it time and everything will come around now the truth is most problems aren't solved with more thinking they actually solved with less thinking you will find most of the answers you're looking for in silence in time band with a clear mind you see that time that your mind is clear when you're not thinking of anything when you're free that is when you're going to find the ways to even solve your problem that you're facing so if you can't solve a problem stop trying to if you have thought of this thing now, how do I solve it? How do I solve it? And you see that uh, uh, you've been thinking for almost a whole day, one week, one month, and you still haven't found ways to resolve this thing. Please, eh, don't think about that thing again. In fact, leave that problem. Let that problem remain unsolved. You see, when that, if we leave that problem and it remains unsolved, you find out that eventually that problem is going to solve itself. Yes. Now, let's move over to number four. An important question. You see, eh? When you start criticizing yourself for past mistakes or seeing disaster around every corner, ask yourself this question. Is there anything I can do right now to change the past or to positively influence the future? If the answer is yes, do it. Take the action. But if the answer is no, be at peace and let it go. This even corresponds with my last point. Be at peace and let it go just know that it's not every problem that you can solve it's not everything that you can you know help everybody that you can help but when you start criticizing yourself over something that has happened in the past that you know you have no power to change you start beating yourself you start overthinking ah, i should have i should have not i shouldn't have but it has already been done there is nothing now that you can do to change the past 
However, yes, the future, you can you have the power to change it because you can learn from your past and learn how to influence your future by not doing the same mistakes you made in your past. So yes, if you can change the one that is in the future, good, change it. You have to take action or let it go. Everything else is self-harm. Now, number five, the power of now. The power of now that me and you are in now. You are not going to overthink your way to a better future. Mm -mm, it's not possible. You're not going to overthink your way to a better past. It's still not possible. All you have is now. And what you do with now can make right of your past and make good of your future. Make peace with yesterday and let it go. And then grab hold of now to make your tomorrow better. The power to change anything, the power to think anything good is now. The things that have happened in the past, you have no power over them. You cannot change it. So please let it go. Don't harm yourself over something that you cannot change. Don't harm yourself over tomorrow because we don't even know whether we are going to live up to tomorrow. But what we have power to do is now. And that now is not overthinking it. That now is doing. Is it a goal that you set yourself, you set that you want to do or you want to achieve? Do it now. You see that plan that you've mapped out that you're going to do tomorrow, why not do it now? You see that thing that you say, okay, when I sleep and wake up, I'll do it. Try and see if you can do it now. Because nobody has power over tomorrow and past is in the past. There's nothing you can do to change it. You, no amount of overthinking can change it. So please, don't overthink it. Now, let's move over to the sixth point. Fact, check your own thoughts. Now, what do I mean by this? You see, your thoughts will create scenarios in your mind that will reflect your insecurities, fears, and worries. So it's important to always fact check your own thoughts before accepting them. Because in highly emotional situations, your thoughts will tell your stories that aren't true. So this is like when something happens to you and you're not really sure. This actually comes up when somebody's being emotionally abused or something and then you keep hearing what people has to say and over time you no longer know which one is which you no longer know which one is the truth and you know but when you fact check your own thoughts you go back in your head to check these things to react to check which one actually happened and which one is true and which one is false and then you see those ones that are truth keep them in your record those are your own truths and you see those ones that are lies you have to do what? Remove them. That is the fact checking of your own thoughts. Remove those ones that are lies that you've checked, you've checked, and it's not true. Remove them so it will help you heal and it will help you move on to a better future. Now, the number seventh point is acceptance in, is peace. If you accept things, you will find out that you're going to have peace. No amount of anxiety will change your future. No amount of regrets will change your past. Peace is found in acceptance. Peace Accept what uh, imperfection, accept uncertainty, accept the uncontrollable. You don't have to understand, tolerate, or even forget something. But if you want peace, you must accept it. Acceptance is what? Peace. Once you accept that you're an imperfect human being and that you can make mistakes, you're going to have peace. If you accept the uncertainty that nobody knows tomorrow, nobody is not in your power to direct your own footsteps, then you might go out there to buy something and never come back alive. You will have peace. If you accept the uncontrollable, there are things you do not have power over, things that you cannot control. Other things that have happened in the past, you know that you don't have power over them. You cannot change them. There's nothing you can do about them. So you do what you accept them. If you accept them, you're going to find that you're going to have much peace. And acceptance you accept your own self you don't have to worry your own self you don't have to uh, 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 you know always be angry with yourself i should have done this i shouldn't have done this you do what accept them now let's move over to the last point point eight health starts in your mind i'm sure you're wondering how well some of you might say yeah i know but it's better said than done now you can go to the gym eat healthy do yoga drink water and take vitamins but if you don't directly confront the negativity in your thoughts you will never truly be healthy our health isn't measured on scales by the size of our muscles or by the width of our waist true health is measured by the 
quality of our thoughts and the peacefulness of our mind. The health starts in the mind. A lot of people, because of bad character, because of bad things that they do, they don't have peace of mind. They're always thinking, ha, they will soon catch me. This one, this one is looking at me like this. Does he know what I do? This one is looking at me. Hey, it's like this person has, hey, well, now that they, do you think they must have found out? Hey, they must have found out that I stole this thing. Oh, they must have. You keep having these worries, these thoughts going on in your head. How can you be healthy? If you like, do exercise. If you like, do yoga. If you like, eat healthy. Drink water. Because you have negative minds, because you have a lot of things going on in your mind, you can never truly be healthy because a healthy mind is a healthy body. You see people that have peace of mind, they don't even need to eat too much. They don't even need to eat healthy. <laughs> I'm telling you, they'll still be looking healthy. They'll be feeling healthy. They sleep and sleep very well. They don't sleep with one of their eyes closed. They don't sleep and wake up jolted and like, hey, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? they don't do that. You understand? So when your mind is healthy, you're going to find that they're going to be happier and you avoid overthinking. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you learned one or two things from this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and share. I'll see you in my next video. Until then.